Welcome to a short video presentation on OSRMT from Adaptive Processes. Uh, OSRMT stands for Open Source Requirements Management Tool. Uh, this product has been discontinued and it's very hard to find support uh, on internet or anywhere on this product. Uh, however, for a learning purpose, this is a good tool to understand uh, as it is free. Um, the second thing is uh, most other commercial requirements management tool would be very similar to the concept and features present in OSRMT. So let's start learning about OSRMT and uh, how to use it. Uh, so for the first thing that you need to do is to start the server for OSRMT before you can start uh, your client uh, instance. So I have started the server. Now I am going to start the client as well. So it may take a little while. Just okay, now it's starting up. Okay, uh, for the demo instance, both username and password are demo. So I'm just going to give demo demo. And uh, this is built on an access database, uh, which means it's a single user kind of an environment. So this is the uh, home or landing page of the product, which is really simple. Uh, for simplicity, I have created a product uh, called GRC Perfect. Uh, so I'm just opening that product. And uh, if you see here, uh, you have four or five levels of connectivity for traceability. You have something called a feature, uh, which is a high level requirement, then requirement, then design, then implementation, and then test cases. So you can create uh, all these items in MS uh, in OSRMT. So you can uh, develop a feature, you can write a requirement, you can make a design element, you can make an implementation element, and you can link all of them through the product. So for example, uh, here we are discussing one uh, feature called MPP integration, which stands for Microsoft Project Plan Integration. So this is a requirement or a feature that uh, our product GRC Perfect has. Uh, so if you look at a feature, you have a feature name, you have a version number. Uh, it also gives a feature number by default and it puts a priority and puts a status on the feature. Uh, you also can have dependencies defined, uh, which I will show it little later how to do it. And you can also have a history of the feature. So the feature is fairly simple. It's like a um, user story or a product backlog, uh, something like that, which is like really a high level feature. Then we have requirements. When we come to requirements, uh, if you double click the line, uh, you similarly have a requirement description, a version, number, complexity. You can also put an effort, uh, priority, status, and you can also put assigned to category. All these requirements you can put. These are mainly the requirement attributes that we have studied in the other part of the program. Then you have a detailed step, which means um, you can write some um, steps uh, about this requirement, how this requirement is used. Then you have a background where you can put some author name, origin, rational, why this requirement is required. Uh, you also get an use case uh, uh, template. Uh, built into the product. So you have a goal. So you can say the goal is to integrate integrate an MS project file MS project file into GRC perfect. You can give a context. You can give a precondition as um, all staff uh, must be assigned to the project to the project context you can put saying most uh, PMs use MSP as the primary scheduling tool and hence the need for integration need for integration and you can also write the step. So you can say add row. Here you can say 
um, go to GRC perfect upload Excel then next is select the MS project file then you can add click upload so next step would be application provides a success message the last step could be check go to schedule module and verify sorry this one would be move up but verify if the schedule has been generated schedule has been generated so this completes the use case and uh, you could also have an alternative flow which means uh, uh, yes then I go to this one and say application provides an error message why the file can't be uploaded the file cannot be uploaded so you can add another row correct data and another row try again so post condition is uh, schedule is generated in the schedule module okay so this is how you can uh, write your use cases uh, using this product as well uh, for the requirement uh, you can also define the dependencies as I have told earlier so I will uh, show that little bit and you can also have a history so this is how you can capture the requirements of the product uh, you can also have a design element which is fairly simple um, it basically like feature so you can write some import export for MS project um, then you can also have a code module uh, which is uh, which will tell which code module has been developed for this particular requirement and you can also write test cases saying this is the test case that has been written for um, testing MS project so here also you can say the same thing like uh, go to upload um, Excel then add row then try to upload the sample MPP file so this is how we can write our test cases as well so the purpose is to test MSP integration integration prerequisite is employees are assigned to the project to the project and test data look for sample file look for sample MSP file and apply so this is how you can define your various elements starting from feature requirements design element test uh, code element and test cases and there is a feature to trace so what for that what you have to do you have to go to tools and you set trace uh, now this will only show you the traceability to establish the traceability you click on this particular icon which is traceability so here it gives you all the elements on the left side and all the elements on the right side and here you can say okay this new test case is actually um, there's some problem in my instance so it does not allow me to uh, uh, trace it uh, but otherwise as a feature it should allow you to um, or we can delete this traceability uh, one second 
uh, it's bit clunky because being an open source tool it does not give you right click and all uh, see here like here it has given a choice see this interface with ms project and new test case i would like to trace between um, right to left so that means this new test case is linked to interface so i'll say create dependency from new test case on this i say okay so now i have a uh, traceability established between the two and if I go to my dependencies I can always see that so if you come here and come to dependencies you will see all this um, see like we created a test case and all that so it will come here okay so if I just go to um, tools uh, trace and I say trace from requirement trace type trace and trace to test cases so let's see so this is what uh, has been one in uh, tracing which i had done long back uh, but i think the new tracing it's somehow not working so let me see here if it gives dependencies yeah it has given the dependency here, here also this connected the test case from here oh okay this is because it's um, the test case is dependent on uh, um, on the requirement but the requirement is not dependent on the test case so it's not a bi-directional it's like a unidirectional thing so but i think if we go to tracing and do bi-directional i think we should see on both sides let's try doing that so again go back to the same thing and say this one and this one we also do a right to left so for example we also want to say that this requirement is also dependent on the test case which is an unlikely scenario but just for a demo purpose we are doing it so we do that and then when we come to this particular requirement and go to their dependencies i see this dependency so this is how you can uh, establish your uh, traceability and view them uh, on osrmt so hope uh, this will help you to use the product uh, this product requires little bit of a knowledge of Java um, uh, to install it on the um, on your system and uh, this is built for a little older version of operating systems and all that so please take help of your um, technical person who can do it it may not work well on Windows 7 or Windows 8 because um, this product is quite old and possibly not supported on advanced uh, operating systems thank you